Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel, and I am up past my bedtime. As I'm sitting here recording this, it is 1.28 a.m., and uh, I live in the United States in the Midwest, so wherever you are, especially if you're seeing this right after I post it, maybe the sun's rising, or maybe it's the afternoon, but I am definitely up past my bedtime right now. So, why am I recording a video? Well, uh, a couple of reasons. Um, a lot of price action here, a lot of panic, seriously, I just went through my Twitter feed, people are flipping out over the price of XRP going down to 33 cents, you can see this on my screen here right now, and uh, the second reason I decided to record something is after reading through this, it got my mind going and racing, and, um, and, I, and I can't sleep, so I thought what I'd do here is just kind of record a real quick video, all I'm going to talk about is price real quick, give you my uh, per perspective. I want to be real clear at the outset here, since I am going to be talking about price explicitly and exclusively within this video. I am not a financial advisor. I'm regular Joe Schmo, no financial background whatsoever. None of what I'm saying here is intended to sway you. None of uh, what I'm saying is intended to give you fear or to hype, nothing of the sort. I'm just sharing with you my open, honest opinion, and I'm happy to be transparent to all of this about how I feel about this and my outlook <clears throat> on XRP in general, and what's happening with the price here in the short term. So as we sit here, the market cap for crypto in general, 311 billion, and uh, Bitcoin's at 11,436, and XRP is a little over 33 cents. And just the other day it was at 40 cents, and it's dropping a lot. Oh my god, sky's falling, should we be panicking? Uh, well, look, you can feel however you want, <laughs> but um, am I panicking? Not one bit, <laughs> not one bit, and it's not because I'm irrationally stubborn and refuse to sell, although, I mean, it is true, I'm, I, I will go down with the ship if that's what it takes, but um, I, I invest based on fundamentals. So let me just share with you something real quick before I uh, share any of my additional thoughts with you, because I think I just saw this and I was like, yes, Galgatron hit, uh, again, uh, like hitting the nail on the head, as he, as he always does, and I retweeted this earlier as a result. So somebody uh, who is a, an XRP um, investor, self-stated to be newer here, is very concerned about what's going on with XRP, and sent out a um, sent out this tweet and uh, wanted Galgatron's response here. And uh, by the way, I completely sent, uh, sympathize with the sentiment. If any of you out there are watching this price and you're fearful or you're panicking. I'm with you. I got. I mean, I'm not with you in the sense that I'm panicking or fearful. I'm not, but I sympathize and I'm here. I got it. I totally understand. And before I understood big picture what's going on with uh, cryptocurrency markets at large, I uh, I was I was a little bit more concerned when there would be a negative a downward price movement. But that was only in the really early part of crypto, um, for me anyway, because I've only been in this since November of 2017. And I remember when that bear market started to hit uh, in 2018, shortly thereafter. I, I didn't understand it fully what was normal within the asset class and how humans behave in terms of buying and selling when you're talking about new technology, a nascent asset class, all that type of stuff. Uh, but I get it now, and I am no longer affected by this. Uh, emotionally, I'm impervious, bulletproof here, all right? So here's the tweet from this guy named Zen. Uh, Bro, I am seriously worried. Why is XRP falling? You still sticking with XRP, especially when BTC has breached 13,000 I wouldn't uh, have worried so much if I wasn't all in, a novice noob's error, but what is done can't be undone. What are your views? And again, he was uh, stating that to Galgatron here. And so Galgatron responded, and I was already thinking this, I guess I was initially reading that, and uh, so here's what Galgatron had to say. Look at the top coins on this site, livecoinwatch.com. You should see that almost every coin has fallen. Now, does it make sense to ask why XRP is falling? Or does it look like the entire market is being manipulated and has nothing to do with XRP at all? Hmm. So if you're sitting there freaking out and you're wondering what's up with XRP, what is going on here? I've got a better question for you because here's what's actually happened. Let me say this first. Look over here. Look where I'm circling the mouse. Do you see this? The weekly charts here? I don't even need to zoom in on them any further. What's the direction that they're all heading? Almost 100% of them, as you scroll down this page, almost 100% are down and they're down at roughly the same point in time you can see it graphically there's no need to jump in of course there are outliers here like whatever the heck this one is crypto.com coin i don't know, know what that is it doesn't matter a couple outliers everything is going down so is it xrp is there some problem that's fundamental like is there fundamentally something wrong with xrp that just popped up right now tonight today wherever you are whether it's night or day did something just pop up and now it's tanking and now we're screwed and you better panic sell do you believe that's what happened or is it whale manipulation? 
or even if it's not whale ma- manipulation? Is it just that humans are acting in a not completely a rational sense when it comes to buying and selling? And that all of these coins are tied together in their action, whether uh, price action, whether it's upward or downward. Tell me. So let me ask you this. Here's what I want to ask you. And just answer this for yourself. What do you think, think makes more sense? Is it more sensical that there is something that people have discovered is inherently wrong with XRP? Are they jumping ship forever? Um, or, or is it more likely that since we see all of the coins moving down basically in tandem, in lockstep, just about all of them, is it more likely that the market, whether it's a result of whale manipulation or not, is it more likely perhaps that uh, that the speculators, uh, all these retail speculators, which are the ones that are causing this price action, it's all retail speculators like you and me, is it more likely perhaps that uh, they're voting on the asset class as a whole? Is it more? So let me phrase that again. Is it more likely that the retail speculators, since XRP price is going down, is it more likely that there's something wrong with XRP and that's what everyone's voting on and that's why XRP price is going down? Or is it more likely that when you look at the broader picture, you see this downtrend, which is going on for all these coins, and there are thousands of coins here. You can go through page after page after page. Is it more likely that speculators or whatever coin they're invested in, they're all just freaking out in tandem because they're all betting at large on the asset class? I think it's the latter. I think that people are just treating every coin more or less the same. It has nothing to do with fundamentals. And this is what I've been saying in a lot of my videos lately. People are not parsing out individual coins by and large. There are some people like me, for example, who are choosing to invest in XRP given its actual utility. And I see real world adoption occurring. That's why I'm in it. Fundamentals. This type of irrational response when people are just judging the market and has nothing to do with XRP, as far as I can tell, I mean, that's that's what I firmly believe, actually. Uh, yeah, this is not going to shake me whatsoever. And so I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to promise you one way or another what's going to happen with XRP because I can't responsibly do that. And I am not a hype guy. I'm never going to be. I'm happy to talk about price in a responsible way and be very transparent about my background, which is I have no financial background. I'm just regular Joe Schmo. I just happen to be sitting behind a computer and I made a YouTube channel. That's it. And so I'm going to shoot straight with you. I'm just telling you from, from my position here, not afraid whatsoever. I'm really not. I'm nothing but optimistic, and I, I expect this. And look, I don't want anyone to go through this type of fear and the, the suffering associated with that because I know it can feel emotionally paralyzing to some. And if, if it's happening to you right now, trust me, I really do sympathize with you. I really do. But on the flip side, for somebody like me that that is investing based on fundamentals, I'm fully anticipating it. Not that I want people to go through that, but I'm anticipating that people will do that and people will sell. And you know what happens eventually when enough people sell? Uh, people that are either traders or people like me that see the fundamentals, fundamentals of all this, they're going to see an additional buying opportunity and, and put money in. And that's the way this market's been working for years and years and years, and that's how it's going to work for the foreseeable future. It's going to be a long time before people parse out coins to a, a level in which uh, it's truly based explicitly or almost explicitly um, on utility. There will always be emotion involved with this. Even in the stock market, which is a very mature asset class, you still get humans buying and selling uh, emotional. You can look at the crash of 2008 where the stock market plummeted about, what was it, 40% off the top of my head, something like that. Stuff like that happens. But th- is the stock market here still? Yes. Does the crypto asset class have staying power? Yes. Why does it have staying power? Well, as I've stated before, you can build businesses on top of decentralized ledger technology that are literally are not capable of existing without it. And if you think that the native coins on certain assets will not have staying power, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. And so what the, what the, what the speculators are doing right now is trying to figure out, is the asset class here to stay or not? For me, my vote, my bet is yes. Yes, the asset class is here to stay. I'm more sure of that than anything. I'm more sure of that than I am that XRP has staying power, to be perfectly honest with you. And I, I'm an XRP bull, so I do think XRP has staying power. So once I've figured that out, of course, so someone, so at least one coin will be a, a, a winner, bare minimum. I think there's going to be multiples because different coins have different attributes and different people, different businesses want different things from their coins. That is true. But... Uh, but absolutely, there'd be a minimum of one, but probably likely at least a handful because, again, they'd, they'd have different attributes. And so once I realized that, oh, okay, you can do this stuff. So there will be winners within the asset class. From my perspective, the asset class will not ever go away. It won't ever go away. People will always assign value to this via uh, open marketplaces, which are cryptocurrency exchanges. And so from there, I was just like, okay, well, given that I believe that just me personally, what can I invest in now that makes sense? And so I started searching for utility. And the only cryptocurrency 
ever to be used in the commercial production of anything is XRP. There are other blockchains that have deals with other companies, uh, uh, you know, developers building on top of the blockchains. I am not aware of any of their actual coins being used in the production of anything. XRP is the only one where coins, the actual cryptocurrency, the actual digital asset is being used. And if I'm missing one, um, I'm happy to correct the record. I, you know, last time I mentioned this, somebody um, sent me, it was, it was kind of them to uh, send me in this direction, but it, 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 there may have been a misunderstanding of what I was looking for. They sent me a link to some coin that had some partnership with somebody, some other company, and they weren't using the coin. They're just utilizing the blockchain. So I'm like, well, I'm looking for coin utilization, and it's only happening with XRP in, in terms of commercial production. That is it. So why am I putting my money in there? There you go. That's it. It's quite simple from my perspective. So, um, you know, I, I hope this helped you to kind of like if you are one of those people that's feeling a little freaked out, a little spooked by all this, I hope that this helps you to feel a little bit better. That said, I don't want anything that I said to be used in any way to determine whether or not you buy or sell. I want you to go do more research. Hopefully you calm down a little bit. It's okay to be a little afraid. I totally get it. I respect it. You know, it doesn't mean you're a bad person if you're scared. You put your money in it. You got skin in the game. I totally respect where you're coming from. But uh, take some time to research this. Think about it. Maybe you need to sleep on it, especially if you're awake right now and you're being an insomniac. Because if you're in my time zone, it's what 1:39 a.m. right now. So I should probably wrap this up and go to bed myself. But um, look, I'm looking big picture. I'm I, I could not be more bullish on XRP. I will continue to buy, especially at these prices. That's just what I'm doing. You guys do what you want. But uh, I won't stop buying on a regular basis until XRP goes parabolic. That's it. And um, you know, that, that's, just, that's just what I decided to do for me. I'm also only investing what I'm willing to lose in case I'm wrong. And I doubt I'm wrong. But if I am, I'll live with it. Because this is not my retirement plan. It just isn't. I have a responsible, real adult retirement plan that has nothing to do with crypto. This would just be icing on the cake if I'm correct about this, as I suspect I am. Because this asset class, I just don't believe for a second it's going away. So you can let me know uh, in, uh, in the comments below what you think about this. But from my perspective, everything's A-OK. -okay. Life will go on. Crypto asset class will not disappear. This is not the one where it's all shattered and falling away. This has happened a bazillion times over the last decade, or at least ever since there's been cryptocurrency exchanges. So anyway, that's all I got for you. I hope this helped you somewhat. But um, but yeah, if you would, go ahead and uh, if you like what you heard, hit like. And if you uh, don't hate everything I said, maybe consider subscribing. We'd definitely appreciate it. But beyond that, I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. And also, last thing I'm going to say is if you're in my time zone, go to bed.